Here you go. Let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> Today, we've got a uh, 588 cubic inch Hemi, all aluminum. Andy blocking heads, it's got the 1RA head on it. 1471 billet blower shop blower. And we're doing something where we're doing two Acufab throttle bodies on this thing. And I kind of like to do the blowers this way because they're really drivable because you can come up on, a, on the primary real light load other than we're actually working on a new hat right now where the hats are more drivable, but the hats normally are just like a light switch. So we've got two Acufab throttle bodies on there to make this thing really drivable. And you know, this thing's just a bad dude street deal. Uh, we're running this on E85 and we're doing a whole bunch of stuff with the Holly. So we've got a Holly Dominator EFI. Um, we've got the Holly Smart coils, which are just kind of roughly mounted here for the dyno. And uh, the Holly stuff we've been using a lot of lately, and it's actually pretty cool. It's, they've got a real, uh, really smart and uh, advantage on their learn. So the O2s, you set up a desired air fuel ratio, and it learns really good. So really liking the Holly stuff, been using that uh, lately. It's, it's a really price affordable unit, you know? Uh, so, at any rate, uh, check her out. All aluminum Hemi. I'm doing this for Classics Plus. It's going in a uh, early Willys, and this thing is going to be fucking gnarly. Actually, we we're just doing some early tugs, and it's like 920 foot pounds off the get, and over a thousand horse at like seven pounds. Right now, the bulwer arrangement it's a three percent underdrive, so 6260. That may be a little different than three percent, but. At any rate, it's underdrive. We'll end up overdriving it later today. But uh, super stoked on E85, uh, which is another cool setup. Uh, E85 is actually amazing me because the blower is actually cold. Well, it's not cold, but it's actually it's not hot. It's not like a methanol deal, but 
dramatically reducing blower temps. And I think we're seeing a good horsepower increase from that. I mean, I think it's a guarantee. It's, it looks like over 150 just going to the fuel. So, um, you know, these motors, they never really make that much horsepower, but this one's remaking me a believer. You know, now, normally I love these motors because they have throttle response sound and look that you can never get. Uh, but this one actually makes a little bit of power. Um, really stoked on the combination. All right, so uh, giving a little shout out to these guys, this Dominator EFI. You know, I, I think for the money, this stuff, this is a really nice box. Um, we've been playing with it. I really don't have a lot of experience with it. I've only run it on, uh, on an LS before this, but uh, liking it, it's actually pretty good stuff. So this is kind of cool to point out here is um, this is the learn table that Holly's got going on. Although we've got some kind of intermittent learn going on, I got to figure out why that's happening. You'll see, I'll do a shot here on the dyno where it'll start filling in, you know, numbers in here because what I've done is I've set up a desired air fuel ratio. This is a gas. Um, this is a gas air fuel ratio here, but at any rate, you'll see that it's, um, you know, at these KPA ranges, I'm commanding like 13.5 to 1 and 12 and a half, and then, you know, as we get into heavy boost, 11.8, 12.0, and so what the, what the computer's doing, and I think is really kind of a positive on this computer, is that um, it'll go in and modify your fuel curve, put in numbers in here to try to reach those air fuel ratios. It's actually doing quite a nice job of it. Um, and you know, for novice tuners out there, this is like a pretty nice feature to have because you can actually set the, set the learn up and have it just try to grab your desired air fuel ratio that you want. Um, the last one we did was working a lot better, a lot quicker than this for whatever reason. So I've obviously got some sort of an issue. I got to figure out why, but it's still working nonetheless. Um, and then what it'll ask you is if you want to transfer the learning into the base table, um, which we're doing. And then, you know, ultimately we'll take the percentages of learn down, um, you know, in case, you know, it sees something that is incorrect and that could be dangerous. But for right now, while it's learning, it's doing pretty good. I mean, if we go and look at, we go here, open this up here. We go and look at that last pull. Air fuel ratios are pretty sweet left and right. I mean, it's like uh, 11 point three, 11.5, side to side pretty damn close and that's all based on their learn obviously my o2s and a dyno are going to read differently than holly's o2 so holly's o2 is reading a little um leaner than mine are um but these o2s and a dyno are like two thousand bucks each but you know there you go 8.4 pounds of boost making 1,037 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 963 foot-pounds with 934 at 3,500. This thing's a fucking tabletop. Look at this thing. What's crazy about this motor is like that on the street. That's just fucking tire-burning loveliness. That's laying 11s everywhere you go. Here's another thing to point out, E85. Look at the blower temp on this thing, man. 76 degrees Fahrenheit. We just did a thousand horse pull. That never happens, never. I think you could cook an egg on that thing normally. 92 in the manifold, it's I'm liking this E85 for the blower stuff, I tell you. Okay, so this is what we just did. 62 to a 54, so 
We'll see what that gives us for boost. So we're at like eight pounds right now. And now we're gonna tear it up a little bit. See that in there. Look how fing hot it is inside that muffler. It's glowing red. It's insane. Alright, so here's what the pulley change did 1,035 foot pounds at 3,500, and it's making, you know, 10 pounds of boost, 11 pounds over here, but instantly, bam! 1,035 foot-pounds, 1,074 peak, and 1,120 horsepower at 6,300. So it picked up eh, about almost 100, you know, 90 to 100. And it picked up eh, four-ish pounds of boost, you know. And that's, that's good. I mean, the, the blowers, you turn them up and they get worse and worse. Um, but uh, that's not bad. Pretty stoked on that. It's like a fucking tabletop, dude. Fucking torque. Yeah, buddy. piece for making power. Uh, we tested it on a 1600 horse twin turbo the other day and at 1300 horse it really wasn't taking off a ton of power. Um, our, one of our latest videos we saw 100 loss with uh, another muffler and you know the, the other muffler was way better at silencing things but um, you know it was 100 horse. So at any rate we did this dual muffler action, jerry rig action for the dyno keeps things kind of quiet in here and uh, and we're making good power through these mufflers. <laughs> 